Okay. <laughs> James, I'm very impressed that you can count. That's fantastic. To three as well, that's a difficult number to get to. Rebecca, I'm not sure, are we live? <laughs> I just sort of started speaking. Okay, just checking. Right, so we are indeed sitting with Sausage Tree Pride. It's, it's quite entertaining. This is a, a lot of excitement happening this morning. The little ones seem to have a sugar rush now after they've eaten. And they are literally chasing tail at the moment. You can see one of the younger cubs has got the zebra tail in its mouth now. And I always find with young lion cubs that it is their favorite chew toy. Now, you and I would go to the pet store to buy our dogs and cats all sorts of things to play out with out here they need to make do they often carry logs around and put some pieces of whatever was killed but I, like i said the tail is the best part and they're chasing each other around that little lion cub on the right hand side is very funny though how long will they keep now, Yvette, you're wondering how long will they keep feeding and playing with this fresh kill? Well, until there's nothing left of it. It wasn't a particularly big zebra. It was a, a juvenile. Uh, so I reckon they'll be feasting upon this maybe till they've actually eaten quite a bit of it. Maybe till tomorrow morning or very early hours of this morning. T yes, tomorrow morning. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and then they'll probably get up and look for something else to eat. Uh, one thing I have noticed, besides the one young cub having a beach ball of a belly the others haven't seemed to indulge too much just eating enough to sustain themselves perhaps they know uh, you know unlike the sabi sand line where prey seems to be a little bit on the thin side at the moment with the buffalo not being around whenever they catch something they eat as much as they can but uh, as i've been watching the lions i haven't really seen many of them with the swollen bellies like this little one has but there is so much food around so it wouldn't doesn't really surprise me but this little one is very funny. It's the naughtiest little lion cub Michael, of them all. No, Michael, you spotted a little mark on that lion's side and you're wondering if it has an injury. I don't think so. I think it might just be a little bit of blood from the zebra. I noticed that one of the lionesses, uh, she's off away now, she had a similar thing. And, and it's been running around, racing around. So even if it is a small cut, it doesn't seem to be affected by it at all. But it was jumping and leaping about on the carcass. There you go, lioness going back in to feed a little bit more. You see that? So they've been feeding most of the morning. We must have just missed this. We had to bunker down because the rain came about. And unfortunately, we couldn't keep driving and we lost our lions. And we found these ones on this kill. So I don't know how long they've had it for. Maybe a couple of hours ago. But it's just such a beautiful scene out here with all the trees, the escarpment, the golden grass. I really can't get enough of it. And there she's munching away. Now, I'm trying to figure out where the other lioness has gone. No, she disappeared. She went on a bit of a walkabout. I don't know where the closest water source is from here. Normally, after a, a good meal, they will go and drink water. However, they are getting quite a bit of their uh, water supply from the blood of that zebra. So it's not necessary to go and sort of hydrate yourself straight away there we go little one practicing stalking and this won't last for too long they've eaten eventually they're going to tire themselves out and then they'll rest they might have to move though because if the sun peeks through the clouds there's a bit of cloud cover they're going to have to move somewhere else there they go again running after one another Right, I think we're going to move off from these lions and see what else we can find. Let's go to Byron. I don't know what he's got.